Okay, so what is even going on right now? On the 29th of September, Microsoft released a new article about Linux on their learning platform Microsoft Learn. And while it's mostly about the Windows subsystem for Linux, short WSL, and some other virtualization methods to run Linux applications or containers on Windows, what really stands out of the crowd is this. Create a bootable USB drive to install bare metal Linux. That's right. Microsoft is now showing you how you can install Linux and not just any version of it, but desktop Linux on bare metal. And that's definitely something that we need to talk about. The first thing that you should know is that Linux support from Microsoft is not something new or unusual. Especially for businesses and enterprises, Microsoft already offers many solutions that are compatible with Linux. Linux devices can be added to a service like Intune for example, which automatically applies configuration profiles, installs the Microsoft Defender for Linux, yeah, that's a thing, and you can nowadays also connect them to Microsoft's central user management, the Active Directory. All of this means that if you don't need to run certain applications, you could theoretically switch your whole company over to Linux and still access Microsoft's resources, if that's your choice. What makes this new article interesting though is that it is very detailed and doesn't mention those enterprise solutions at all. From the looks of it, it looks like it was written for personal use. Create a live USB stick with Belina Etcher, even with a picture. Mentioning stuff like dual boot and kind of explaining what bare metal means is really unusual. And the only thing that I would personally change is the commands right here, since they already use Ubuntu as a reference. Given its overall popularity and some past corporations, this isn't really all that surprising. Yes, there are some questionable statements here and there, and they also address the issue that a lot of Microsoft solutions are just not available on Linux. However, Microsoft does offer some programs for it. While most of them are of course meant for businesses and connect to a licensing service, Microsoft also makes Linux compatible software from time to time. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Microsoft Teams was available as a native package, which frankly didn't receive as many updates as the Windows version, but it was native. It now got replaced by a progressive web app, an application which is essentially your main browser being run in an app mode. And for something like Teams, it makes sense, since it's always online anyway. Progressive web apps in general are something that Microsoft, but also many others, are increasingly trying to push. They work on any operating system that supports a Chromium-based web browser, you can embed service workers or scripts to make them run offline, and they are generally very stable, since everyone gets the same version. If you need to use Microsoft Word for example, but you also want to use Linux, if you are okay with a more basic feature set, then you can install Microsoft Office as a PWA. And believe it or not, this is the future of subscription models and it's one of the reasons on why Microsoft is trying to expand onto Linux as well. Instead of programming a whole application and make it available natively as a flatpak or a snap, you just program a progressive web app and it just works on all operating systems that support a browser with that functionality. Non-licensed programs for applications would also be taken out of the equation. Try cracking Photoshop Online for example. You just can't. I personally don't mind the trend all that much since it makes Windows applications run somewhat on Linux. And it's also one of the reasons on why this article exists in the first place. Microsoft on Windows, but also in Edge, is about collecting data, patterns and interests that they can sell to advertisers. While Windows as an operating system can do that by itself, Linux is a lot more stricter when it comes to that. On the Linux desktop, if it continues to grow, it makes sense to provide applications there as well. And currently the most profitable way is to just offer progressive web apps. Microsoft has already acknowledged Linux and its desktop applications as something that users want to use, either with WSL, a virtual machine, dual boot or natively, and they will find a way to make it profitable for them. In fact, they have to. Everyone should be able to use whatever they want. And to be honest, open source is never going away. It's impossible really. There will always be a more advanced niche for some. 
but it would be nice to see more basic users on Linux as well. I personally would love to see that. In conclusion, Microsoft showing off how to install Linux on bare metal came a bit surprising. But if you think about it in the long term, it really isn't something unusual. Microsoft is expanding and they already consider Linux as a viable operating system that people want to use. And this is a good thing to further push the Linux desktop. Because once Microsoft applications work fine, due to its repository nature, people will also get exposed to other software alternatives as well, without explicitly looking them up. One day, this will be the case. And that's where I'll leave it. So please make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Oh, and if you also want access to a complimentary knowledge base or watch my videos without any YouTube ads, then make sure to check our new membership program in the description down below. Thanks for watching.